Imagine your flight experienced a lightning strike which left you bruised and battered with a broken collarbone in the middle of a rainforest. You then go on to find a stream and keep yourself hydrated. With a mag infestation on your arm, you wander and find an encampment to aid your injuries to the best of your abilities. That includes pouring gasoline on the infection. That was Julian Kopeck's story. She survived. Imagine after a usual soccer practice, your team and your coach decide to explore a nearby cave when a flash flood occurs, trapping you all for 17 days. With no food or water, you take turns digging a hole to escape. That was the real experience of a boys' soccer team in 2018. The whole team survived. Imagine driving when your car shoots off the road and off a cliff. Your brain is damaged, you have fractured ribs, a broken collarbone, ruptured blood vessels in both eyes, and a collapsed lung. You break your car window, swim to the beach, pass out until you become conscious once more, and walk to shore for help. That was the unfortunate turn Angela Hernandez's drive took. Luckily, as you may be able to guess by now, she survived. So, tell us, how was your day? Was it horrible and tiring like every other day you accounted for before it? Tell us about that one test mark, about the comment that you received two days ago that's been at the top of your head. Tell us about how awful the weather and traffic is. Tell us about how impossible everything seems and how life is turning all odds against you. Tell us about the glass that's half empty, not full. But also, at the same time, admit that it's not the end of the world and that you have so much going for you. Acknowledge that you too are a survivor of every obstacle you believed you couldn't overcome. It isn't a mere coincidence that success arises from hardships because the greatest opportunities are found in the toughest obstacles. So no, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. It's greenest wherever you water it the most. I'd like to share one last story. Randy Posh was a professor a husband, a friend, a son, and a father to three children below the age of five. He was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer and given only six months to live. He wanted to deliver a final lecture which encompasses all the life lessons he had learned. He believed life had set the stage and all that was left to do was for him to play the role. But his wife was adamant on him staying home and spending time with her and his kids. He simply told her, an injured lion wants to know if he can still roar. It's about dignity and self-esteem, which isn't quite the same as vanity. So, he delivered the lecture. But it wasn't about his cancer, or family, or the fact that his life was given a deadline. In fact, he said, many people might expect the talk to be about dying, but it had to be about living. And right then, I might be able to offer you something special. Wisdom is a strong word, but maybe that was it earning over 21 million views and selling nearly 5 million copies, Randy Posh did provide wisdom, and much more alongside that as well. One, brick walls prove ambition. There's an interesting study based off of people's regrets as they come to the end of their lifetime. What's fascinating is that people didn't regret what they had done, rather what they hadn't. You see, we tend to view the obstacles that come in our way as inconveniences. As soon as something becomes too difficult, people tend to give up and believe that their dreams just aren't for them. But your dreams are planted within you for a reason. Ambition, hope, desire, and drive are all synonymous with the word dream. So embrace those characteristics. Those obstacles that seem impossible to overcome, that are like brick walls in the way of achieving your goals, are simply life's way of pushing you to prove just how much and how far you'd go to pursue them. After all, anyone could dream, but not everyone can achieve. It takes mindset much more than talent. Two, experience is what employers look for. It's easy to get caught up in the what ifs and why me, but those hardships that you're questioning are your greatest source of wisdom. Lessons are difficult to learn, but that much harder to teach. It is with true experience that people gain true knowledge. That's why employers look for experience. Because some things can't simply be said or summarized, they have to be lived. Three, learn to walk before you run. In the children's book, The Boy, The Horse, The Fox, and The Mole, 
A boy and a horse are in the woods. The boy says he can't seem to see a way out. So the horse responds by saying, can you see your next step? If so, then just take it. The path to achieving your goals and dreams aren't ever going to seem clear. But the next step will always be in sight. Stay grounded in the present when the future seems foggy. It's true the sky's the limit and that anything may be possible, but you have to learn to walk before you run. Set attainable goals, be realistic, be honest with yourself, and understand your limits. Four, gratitude. We're all very familiar with this word, but maybe not so knowing of its exact impact. A man gathered four people and gave them a short test which helped him gain insight on just how happy they were. They were then asked to think of a person who has had such a big influence on their life. They all wrote as much as they possibly could about that person and why they had chosen them. By the end of that activity, everyone believed the experiment was over, but they were then unexpectedly asked to call their chosen person and read aloud what they had written. One person chose their sister, another a friend. One person chose his mother and the last chose his teacher. They each called their chosen person and surely by the end of it, once they were given the test once more, their happiness had grown. Looking at what others have more of makes you feel like you have less. Show gratitude towards the people you love, towards your friends and family. Be grateful for everything that you have and you will surely become more optimistic. Remember, your hard is many other people's easy. Five. <clears throat> Five, not all survivors live. His prognosis was 100% accurate. And by the end of it, and by the end of six months, Randy's, Randy Posh's life was due. He may not have survived. He may not have beaten cancer, but he truly did live. We are the ones holding ourselves back from undergoing our personal metamorphosis. Accept life's challenges and use them as an opportunity to grow, because it is in the toughest times that people tend to find the greatest hope. Thank you.